only this is the only black owned Chinese restaurant that I know of and it's now what's the place called again? It's Which called Howard's, Howard's Cafe. Cafe. Howard's Cafe dot net. And everybody watching, please support. Uh, so you got a website. So what? The website just has information about the the restaurant you just bought. It's it's on Yelp, but okay. it doesn't quite yet have good reviews yet. Okay. Man, I'm only a weekend. We're gonna give you some. Okay. <laughs> we we gonna give you some because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna eat here. And, uh, and what's your name, sister? Shalia. Shalia, okay. And you and your husband just bought a 55-year-old restaurant. Yes. And it's a Chinese restaurant. And, and I, you know, did you know, I, I'll tell you a secret. Chinese food, that's my favorite food. Right. So that's why I'm coming back. So everybody watching, uh, I want you to go to Howard's Cafe. If you're ever in L.A., look for it. It is a black-owned Chinese restaurant. The website is howardscafe.net. And go on Yelp and give them a good review. Pretend like you ate there and you loved it so that other people will want to eat there. That's what you got to do. This is uh, the, the remainder of the last section of uh, my L.A. Uh, stop. Uh, everybody's kind of pouring out, but people are still networking. And you see what's happening here. Black people are meeting other black people who are doing great things. And uh, this is what we need to do. When you have networking that creates commerce, it creates connection. Uh, you look at this brother over here talking. He's he's wearing an I Am Black Wall Street t-shirt. That's the shirt that we, uh, we have connected to our film, Resurrecting Black Wall Street, The Blueprint. And what you can see on this brother, <laughs> that's the co-owner of the of the restaurant of Howard's Cafe, and um, and so and this brother over here uh, actually informed me that Dr. Dre uh, had some really heated, nasty things to say about the article I wrote about him when Dr. Dre gave twenty million dollars to USC and wouldn't give any money to HBCUs that I know of. Uh, I was very disappointed in that. We got to stop the coonery in terms of giving our money back to our oppressor. We got to support each other, support ourselves. And this place is the African American Culture Center. Uh, it's down, in, I think it's near South Central. As you can see, uh, there's uh, Dr. Molena Karanga, uh, the founder of this center. Is, uh, Kwanzaa was founded here. There's Cornell West book. Uh, Dr. West speaks here often. And you can see this is just a beautiful place. So if you ever come to Los Angeles, you really should check out the African American Culture Center. Um, I want to say, I can't remember what name of what the name of the street is uh, gosh it, it escapes me right now but uh, I've, I've had a wonderful time we've done two events here and this is just a great place for black people to hang out so if you come to LA go to uh, this place Howard's Cafe uh, the black owned Chinese restaurant and also support the African American Culture Center and just buy black in general and by the way if you're interested in the Dr. Boyce Watkins Black Economic Empowerment Tour you can find out when we're coming to your city by visiting the Dr. Boyce Watkins Tour dot com. That's the Dr. Boyce Watkins Tour dot com. Next, we're going to Kansas City, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Houston, and uh, we just signed a deal to go to Las Vegas. I'm going to be in New York at the end of May. So take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Love you. Take care. Peace.